I'm live. This is the first time I've done, or live from now, the first time I've done a live stream in over a year, actually, um, because I couldn't think of another video to do. So I hope not too many people uh, tune in. Anyway, I don't like it in live streams where people spend like 10 minutes waiting for people to arrive and going, oh, is it working? Is it working? We'll just assume that it's working and I will jump straight in. And I might recap over some stuff if people join part way through. But um, so this video is a Lego haul for the things I got for Christmas. But it's not all that it seems. Um, and you'll see why. I'll start off by showing you the non Lego presents that I received this year. So we'll start with the one that featured in the thumbnail for this. So these are going to be some odd presents. They're going to make me look a little bit weird, uh, but uh, I don't mind that because we all know that I'm weird. So the first present I'm going to show you is this tape dispenser. So um, interesting story. This was actually going to be um, a birthday present to me from my girlfriend, uh, but she forgot to give it to me for my birth birthday and I got it for Christmas instead. It's a lovely blue um, tape dispenser, useful for packaging e eBay parcels and Bricklink orders as well. So what else did I get? I got a lot of beer for Christmas. This is a um, German beer, like a, an ale, I suppose, rather than a lager. And this actually is from uh, the well, actually, I don't know if it is actually from there, but it's certainly in the style of a beer from a place called Cologne in Germany, uh, which I went to a few years ago. So that's what this is. They call it a, um, is it Weiss? Top fermented white Weiss beer. Um, never seen one. Of the Well, never seen one in, in a non-German uh, city before. So this will be nice to try. Um, hello, everyone who's just joined. Nice to see you all. Um, I've just been showing off the things I got for Christmas, uh, a tape dispenser and a beer. Um, there was more beer as well, so, some actual lager, some sort of uh, British and German lagers. And also this funny pack of six small ales as well. Um, I like, you know, a little bit of alcohol now and again. Good morning, Graham. Good morning, everyone else. Hoovy Bear. Oh, that sounds, that's a nice name. Um, welcome. Happy Saturday. Don't know what time it is where you are, but uh, it's a glorious, well, actually, it's pretty miserable. It's a sort of grey, cold morning post Christmas. Everybody's building their Lego and uh, trying to cheer themselves up now that Christmas is over. But it's not really over. Christmas is, I reckon, you get another week. Too early for life. You are, you are completely right. Um, what else have we got here? Another thing I always get for Christmas is jam. Um, and here is a sort of small selection of jams. I usually eat jam for breakfast, not just, you know, spooning out of jam on toast um, on a Saturday and Sunday morning. Um, so I got many jams. I also received many coffees as well. Um, so here we have some Gerald's coffee. Gerald's is a big upmarket I suppose department store in the city where I live so I've got lots of coffee and related to that I also got um, a book about a road called Unthank Road a sort of history book about the history of this street which was allegedly owned by a load of rich gentry years ago there were estates on there huge great um, posh estates and then they all sold their land and built a load of tiny Victorian terraces. And that's what this book is about. That's quite cool. Um, did you get any Lego? I did. I will get on to the Lego. Um, I promise. Um, it's not that exciting. So it's going to be a little bit anticlimactic, but I'll, I'll explain why. Um, also in the theme of alcohol, I got some Archangel rhubarb gin. A lot of these things were for my girlfriend because she's got the most sort of sensible Christmas present, uh, buying really i suppose my parents have two in case they watch this don't want to offend them so i've got a nice little rhubarb gin a little bit unusual hello everyone um nice to see you hi from the uk i'm from the uk as well so hi from another part of the uk presumably what else have we got um this is 
one of the pieces of electrical equipment I got for Christmas. It is a little Canon Bluetooth remote control. So how much, this is a little game for you, how much do you think this cheap looking little Canon Bluetooth remote cost? Please give me your guesses. Uh, the winner will get nothing they'll get the satisfaction of knowing that they've got the right answer this allows me to have my camera in focus when i film videos believe it or not without this i have to go up to the camera press the focus button and then when i go back it's out of focus 75 pounds 59.99 100 okay it was it was 50 quid basically 50 pounds for this little piece of plastic extraordinary and that's purely because it's Bluetooth. They do do kind of um, radio ones, you know, radio frequency ones rather than Bluetooth for old, for older Canon cameras. Um, and they cost like five quid. You can get secondhand ones and aftermarket ones. But this is literally the only Bluetooth one you can get. Did you all have a good Christmas, by the way? Did you get lots of Lego? Um, you're not going to believe the Lego I got. You're going to be slightly disappointed, I think, in my huge Christmas Lego haul. Um, when I don't tell people not to get me chocolate for Christmas, 90% of my presents are chocolate. Now, I'm not the slimmest of individuals. I'm not hugely fat. But if I eat chocolate, I will get fat. So consequently, I now have more chocolate than you could. I could probably open my own chocolate shop. Let's be let's be honest. Bucket excavator. That sounds quite quite cool um hi from norwich i had a cameron i'm from norwich as well i was just in norwich city center actually um i just had um a mcdonald's breakfast in the chapel field mcdonald's overlooking the big bauble thing um in the whatever you call it courtyardy bit god that was it was great good memories memories of two hours ago don't know what i'm talking about lint chocolate balls these are absolutely fantastic they are delicious. I highly recommend them. And if you haven't ever had them, then you have to go out and buy them this instant. This video isn't sponsored, but these are absolutely gorgeous. Hello from Ipswich. Hello, Chris. Um, oh, yes, Ipswich. I like I like Ipswich. Um, I also like Norwich. So what else have we got? We've got more chocolates. Why do you keep saying greetings from Indonesia? Well, because there's somebody from Indonesia there. Hello. Ipswich scum. Uh, don't start a fight between Ipswich and Norwich, please. More chocolates. These ones are from M&S. These are sort of truffly things. I also got a Anton Wahlberg calendar and Anton Wahlberg chocolates. Just endless, endless supplies of chocolates. Uh, what else have we got? My main present. We're almost on to the Lego. Don't worry. Um, is these headphones, these Sony Bluetooth headphones. Now, the retail price of these is £150, so it's a very expensive pair of wireless headphones. I managed to get them for 130 from Amazon. Um, I can't remember what the... Oh, they are the H900N, WH900N, in case you're interested. Um, really soft cushioning. They smell of new electricals, which um, is... The best thing about new electricals really it's better than uh, sony bluetooth is shit bose is way better you got ripped off thanks a lot jungle 999 i know bose is good um i did contemplate buying bose headphones but these one these are a rather sort of fetching gold color um i always get black headphones but i thought i would try something a little bit different um, and i think these look quite cool they look quite stylish do i look like an idiot with them on Oh, yeah, I do. They're quite good at blocking out the sound. I think they look quite cool, actually. I think I look quite hip. Uh, do I look hip? I suppose people who use the word hip aren't hip. So uh, that probably answers that question. Regarding set, um, headphones, though, Sennheiser headphones. I do have some wireless um, Sennheiser headphones, but they're not as good as these because they're radio frequency and you get a lot of interference from just stuff. These have a very good bass response, very clear sound. Um, highly recommend these. Battery life is superb. Might do a proper review of them in the future. 
to so to say Sony is shit is uneducated, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Yes, you're right. Well, it depends on the headphones. There are obviously lots of different types of headphones, uh, lots of different price levels. Some of them will be good. Some of them will be bad. So I suppose, seeing as you've all arrived, you actually want to see what I got for Christmas in the way of Lego. Well, let me show you. Um, I got one set. That's right, one set. And I did say I was I had too much Lego and I didn't really want to buy any more. Can everyone just be happy for Jake? Yes, that sounds good. Please be happy that I bought some headphones. All right, just relax a bit, okay? So I got one Lego set from my girlfriend, the Lego architecture, the Eiffel Tower, um, which apparently in French is called Le Tour Eiffel. Pardon my French accent. So this is a really cool, it looks like a sort of Lego Technic Eiffel Tower, actually. Um, looks like quite a cool set. I did ask her for this about eight months ago. What usually happens is we go into a shop and I say, oh, I'd like that for Christmas. And then eight months later, I've forgotten and she's remembered and she's bought it for me. So that this is it. This is all I got in the way of Lego, because as I said, that's a hint for you to take it to Paris. Yeah, you're probably right, actually. We haven't been to Paris for a, quite some time. It probably is a not-so-subtle hint, isn't it? And then I gave her a little tiny present in a box about that big and did look a little bit like an engagement ring, but it wasn't. It was a it was a little tiny knitted porg. Uh, I'm just cruel, aren't I? So, yeah, I'm really looking forward to making this, but as I said, it's the only new Lego set that I've actually... Um, actually got this Christmas because I've got too much to make. Do you build any mocks? I never build any mocks, actually. Um, I've got no imagination. I am very good at following instructions, but not that good at using my own um, thought. So I did build so far one Lego set over Christmas, and that is, um, how am I going to get this to you? I don't want to expose my belly um, and I also don't want to fall off the bed and hurt myself and have to have you call the um, ambulance to come and uh, pick me up. So I'll just try and... Uh, oh, you know, I've got quite a bad backache today. Let's go. Didn't get Lego this year, but I still have that Porsche sitting around from last year. Now is the perfect time to build that Lego Porsche. I don't want to go off the screen completely, so I'll leave my hand here. So I, I built this, this tiny little... Oh. Don't know why I'm showing it to the microphone. Oh, look, you can zoom in. Um, I built this tiny little ship, uh, which actually does look a bit crap. And the only reason I bought this set is because it comes with four minifigures who are actually pretty cool. We got um, whatever you call him, Obis, Ob what's his name again? Obis Marie or something, something like that. Pointy head, I call him. Um, we've got uh, female Emperor Palpatine. Um, it, uh, hopefully it's not too annoying that I'm getting all their names wrong. Female Palpatine and um, two Cybermen as well. Look, two, yeah, Barris Offy, yeah. Two little Cybermen with their little guns, you see? They're cool, aren't they? So that's the only reason I bought that set. And so far, that's the only thing I've actually built over Christmas. Uh, but... I probably will build the VW camper van over the next few days because I I got an adventure game for Christmas, which I played on my computer and finished that. So now I really haven't got much to do um, apart from probably start doing some actual work again. That's Doctor Who, Cyberbent. Now, I think you'll find it's Star Trek, actually. Stop getting sci-fi wrong. Um, you look like my English teacher. Maybe I am your English teacher. This lighting's quite flattering, actually. I think I look quite, I look quite dashing. Don't tell me, lol. The cringe, yeah. It's, I am just cringy, actually. In general, it's, my entire channel is just, is just cringe. So I've already been waffling for fourteen minutes and fifteen seconds, which is quite impressive. If you are watching this, please give this video a thumbs up because. Uh, you're watching it, so you must be enjoying it. I'm sure someone's left a thumbs down. They always do. The funny thing is, I can actually... Oh, thank you for some thumbs up, I can see. Um, the funny thing is that I can actually see whether or not the people who give me thumbs down are subscribers or non-subscribers. And I do have a number of people who watch my channel who 
tune in every single week to watch my videos and to leave a thumbs down. Well, it doesn't bother me because actually uh, YouTube actually, um, could you put rules for the next stream? Because there is an unnecessary conflict going on. OK, I will uh, I will try and do it. Maybe I should appoint some administrators. Um, if you can find my email address on YouTube and get in contact with me, I will happily appoint some sensible administrators for the li next live stream. So we've got this set here. I probably am jumping from topic to topic. Um, well, by the way, <laughs> I am jumping from topic to topic. Have you seen that video? I think I may have posted it. It's called, it's by somebody called Pogo, and it's called Data and Picard. After this, go and watch that, because I think that's quite funny and quite well produced, and I like Star Trek, and I like cheesy music, so I like that video. What football team do you support? Norwich City, obviously. This is clearly an X-Wing, not an ARC-170 Starfighter. It's an X-Wing. Let me know in the comments if you agree that this is an X-Wing. I'm not a very good Star Wars fan, am I really? No, I thought I would quickly build this set, and that will be the last thing I'll do in this live stream. I also did get some gift vouchers, more coffee, more chocolate. What else did I get? Soap. But I didn't think you'd appreciate seeing that in a live stream because it's not so interesting. And let's face it, what I've actually shown you so far isn't particularly um, entertaining, is it? OK, so there's a number of what we got. ARC one. So no, 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 that's not right. Um, it's definitely an X-Wing. So this little poly bag I bought from a friend of mine at work called Matt. And um, or he may have even given it to me. I've forgotten. We've exchanged a lot of Lego things over the years now or over the last year. Oh, this is quite a cool model. I've, I've skipped ahead in the instructions and uh, now I've ruined it a bit. But uh, let's try and build it. So these are the these are the instructions. So there are. 19 steps in total. Shall I answer some questions quickly? Uh, I agree with the others. Your videos are really relaxing to watch. Thank you very much. I'm thinking of um, starting some kind of podcast or um, releasing a series of is it ASMR videos where I just say things like, you know, uh, your Lego set is wonderful. You're a great Lego builder. Mmm, nice bricks. I don't know, something like that, something relaxing. I wonder if people would pay to uh, to do that. Um, do you have the Lego Technic Bugatti um, Chiron? No, I don't actually, uh, but I did want it. And there was a great discount shortly before Christmas, like a hundred quid off or something. Really wanted to buy it, uh, but I didn't because I decided that I had too much Lego, as you all know. Well, there's a lot of parts in this. I'm going to try and I'm going to put them up on here. Let me show you my my um, setup. Look, I've got this this kind of tray here. So I'm going to put my Lego on there and try and put this little set together. Also, your voice is soothing. Thank you. That's very kind of you to say. Um, you can ask me any questions you want, by the way. Um, while I'm building this, I will do my best to answer your questions. Is it too early for a beer at 10 to 11? I think it it probably is, isn't it? Right, let's try and get this. Ah, let's try and get this done. You should you could do meditation. I should try and do meditation, shouldn't I? So the game I've been playing is I don't know whether I should tell you, it's a little bit embarrassing. The game I've been playing is called uh Ledger Suit Larry. It's an old 80s game. It's it's for people over the age of 18. It's a little bit rude, um, but I, it's an old point and click adventure game. Nowadays, games are very much sort of shooty games and kind of adventure games are where you just kind of click on things. They're, they're more hidden object games. Well, I actually do like these proper old adventure games where you build up an inventory of items you have to solve puzzles not really puzzles in the sense that you know you've got to move pieces around to get them in to kind of 
solve something, more that you have to use your inventory, um, talk to the right people in the game um, at, to get what you want, basically. You pervert, clicking on knobs, lol. Yeah, Sega Socks, it is, it is a bit, it's, it's, how would you describe Leisure Suit Larry? It's a bit, it's adult, isn't it? It's quite adult. Comic King, hey, Jake, hi. Mate, Mrs. Jake has been in a few, she has been in a few videos. Do you know what Warhammer 40k is? I heard it, uh, but I don't actually know what it is. Are you a programmer? I am a, um, I've, well, actually, what I am is an idiot because I've screwed up this, um, screwed up this build. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, and then I will answer your question. Um, no, that's right, okay. Am I a programmer? Yes, I'm, I am basically a programmer. I'm actually a scientist, uh, and that means I do a lot of computer programming. I'm a computer scientist. So I program in something called MATLAB, which is a lot like Java, if you're familiar with that. Which model did you get for Christmas? I got this Eiffel Tower for Christmas. Morning, Vertigo. Have you ever been overseas? Yes, I have. I've been to Taiwan, uh, Japan, Dallas. Um, I've been to Paris, Cologne, Dublin. That's about it, actually. And little fact, I actually only went abroad for the first time about 10 years ago. So uh, it's all relatively new to me, really. Aim the camera down to the building. OK, is that that probably is more interesting, isn't it, actually? What is your favorite Lego theme? Star Wars, actually. Should I point this down? Remember, don't want to go on about it, but remember to give this video a thumbs up if you are enjoying it. Otherwise, it'll just be one of these sad videos that just ends up on my channel not doing anything ever. Will you do more fake Lego set reviews? Wink. Do you know? No, actually. Um, I don't want to film my crotch, and I want to be able to film. <laughs> I want to be able to. Uh, how am I going to do this? Can I do this like this? Here we go. Oh, that's all right, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I'm brilliant. I'm actually re oh, actually apart from you can't. Okay, that'll do. Can I get mod? Maybe, maybe I'll make you a mod. Let's do this. I used MATLAB at university and still have a copy. You can do a lot in MATLAB. It's um, quite a powerful programming language, I think. Good for um, good for testing things out really quickly. Hard to believe it's your favourite themes, but you don't know anything about it. That's just me to a T, really. I, I don't believe in, in uh, specialising. Actually, well, because I have to specialise so much in my job, I kind of just delve into other topics without focusing too much. That's probably what happens. What is your favourite Lego set? I, I had the, um, oh, what's it called? Um, Imperial Shuttle a few years ago, and I absolutely loved that set. It was really, really cool. I really want this to be in focus, because if it's not in focus, it kind of... Looks a bit rubbish, doesn't it? Is that all right? Yeah, it's kind of in focus. Oh, my God. I ain't watched your vids for ages. Well, now is your chance to uh, to catch up, isn't it? Oh, wow. I'm, I'm really good at this, aren't I? Okay, I've done that. Okay, we want one of these. Let's try. This reminds me of the old live streams I used to do where... I realise that I can't actually do more than one thing at once. Let's... Oh, do you know what? I really am probably screwing this up. Okay. Where's the other one? Here it is. Okay, we're getting there. We are We are getting there. I think I've accidentally jumped about 12 instructions ahead. Since your face went off screen, you've lost three viewers. Well, they're obviously people who really like my face. I don't blame them. I like my face too. I'm, I'm not sure, quite sure what I would do without it, to be honest. We're up to instruction eight. I reckon that's about halfway through. It's it's not looking much like an X-wing yet, is it? Uh, now 10. Oh, don't, don't say how many... Graham, don't point out how many people are leaving. People will jump ship based on that. 
how do you mess up this build? I don't know. I'm just, I'm rubbish. You have an amazing face. Thank you very much. I, uh, I also like my face. Right. Okay. Let's, let's actually build this rather than just waffling. Okay. Actually, these are quite good, the, weird, these instructions, because they don't show you the bits you need. You just have to sort of guess. You know how usually with a Lego set, it tells you the instructions you need for a particular... Oh, it's sliding off. Look. I like your accent, Jake. I'm from Australia. So greetings from down under, mate. Is that a good impression or is that an appalling impression and what everybody does as an Australian impression? Good day, mate. Throw another shrimp on the barbie. Okay, that's probably culturally insensitive, really, isn't it? I, I do apologise. Okay, I'm going backwards and forwards between the instructions here, which is actually surprisingly working quite well. Um, someone salty. What does, what does salty actually mean? Do you know, I, I think I've adjusted my glasses about a million times. I'm thinking of getting a new pair, actually. Although, little fact, little known fact about me, I'm quite obsessed with these glasses, and I've actually bought another uh, three pairs of the frames, and they're stuck in a drawer. Um, and... Uh, in kind of preparation for when I need new glasses in the future. So uh, I'm kind of always going to look like this from now on. That's my that's my intention. How many sets will you build in this stream? More than two or only two or one? Um, you could have just asked me how many, and the answer is one. I'm going to build this one little tiny set because I don't believe in hour and hours and hours of, of live streams. I think they're a little bit dull. Salty is when you lose an argument or game and you say you only won because so-and-so. Oh, in that case, I'm incredibly salty. Okay. Oh, wow, I put in these sort of lasery gun things on the side. Will your parents feature in a goodbye video? Oh, that's quite a good idea. Maybe. So I'm, um, I'm going to move out at some point. Actually, I haven't revealed the whole truth to you. Um, and maybe this live stream is quite a good place to uh, reveal it. I'm actually not moving out as such. I'm actually moving in. Um, so my parents are moving out and I'm staying here. So I'll have the whole place to myself and I can build as much Lego as I want. I can set up a Lego room thinking at some point of getting a loft conversion um, so that I can have a massive Lego room for you. Tout scammed me out of £130. That's not, that's not good. You should go to the police. You are getting more viewers. Thank you. The number of viewers is going up. Which phone do you have? I have an iPhone 8. Um, it's here. Look, this is my iPhone 8. It's got a little case on it. Um, where are we? We're up, we're doing all right with this build, actually. Quite happy with how this set is um, looking. Oh, do you know what? I can smell that coffee down here, and it's really making me fancy a coffee. Do you guys, by the way, um, use... Oh, what have I done? Wait a minute. Um, yeah, no, that is right. OK, do you guys use the stories feature on um, on YouTube? I only discovered it the other week and I'm kind of I seem to be getting a few views on them. And if it's the kind of thing you're interested in, then I'll um, it's embarrassing. There's a hair on there. Um, then I will do more of them. I'll just kind of take pictures now and again and little short videos and upload them for you. But I don't want to bore you. I don't collect or build Lego. I just like watching it on YouTube. I enjoy it. I can understand that. That does make that does make sense. Do you know the song Jake the Peg? Now, I do know the song Jake the Peg, um, but it's by somebody who has actually been 
imprisoned for, I believe, child um, child abuse or something like that, paedophilia or something. So uh, I don't particularly want to sing it now. Maybe not that appropriate. Do you have over like 10,000 subscribers to get that feature? You do, actually. You do need to have over 10,000 subscribers. And somehow I have. Um, but in, at any one time, I only have a fraction of my audience who are actually interested in my content. Because over the years, I have done everything on this channel from, um, from technology, eBay, scam, videos, um, all sorts. And now Lego. But I'm enjoying the Lego at the moment, and I don't plan to stop, actually. I uh, I really think that I've found, finally found the thing that I'm I'm destined to do on eBay. eBay? YouTube. Wow, that X-Wing looks great, Wink. Yes, this X-Wing is coming on really well. Hmm, the likes are not going up. That's because we need people to to like this stream. Please like this stream so that I don't look so quite so sad and lonely. Right, let's put this. I don't remember X-Wings having these little tiny underneath wings. Oh, go on then. On there, me old mucker. There we go. That's on. Um, turn it over. And then put this. Is that right? Is that the right colour? Black? Hmm. It looks grey in the picture. I don't know. That doesn't look right to me. Well, maybe that's right. Okay, let's try it. And then we put these on here. Sad and lonely, but you have a girlfriend, mate. I wouldn't call that lonely. You're quite right. She is pretty wonderful at making me not lonely. Imagine how sad and lonely I would be if I didn't have a girlfriend. All those people who write on my videos saying things about me, you know, like you're, you're ugly, you're useless, you're, um, you haven't got a girlfriend, you're this, you're that. They'd all be right, actually, wouldn't they, if I didn't have a girlfriend, so she better not leave me. Hey, Jake, gotta go, family calling, happy new year, sir. Thank you, happy new year to you as well, Alex. Um, is Mrs. Jake moving in when your folks move out? Not straight away. She will stay here now and again, but she'll still live with her parents for the time being, I think, which I think is what she wants to do. Um, we both got quite a bit of learning to do, I think, about being uh, being adults, really. I, I'm going to have to do my own food shopping. I'm going to have to uh, cook for myself, wash my own clothes. Oh, now I, now I think about it. Oh. That seems like quite a lot of work, doesn't it? I'm not sure I have I made the right decision. But think how many more Lego videos I'll be able to make for you. So uh, actually, I think it is the right decision. OK, so here's the little ship. Is this it? Chris Nunn, pot noodles all the way. Lol. Yeah, you're right. Actually, I plan to live on pot noodles. That's um, that's a very, very good idea. So there are some spare parts in here and I. I as always, I can't tell now whether or not they are spare parts or if they are parts that I just haven't actually used, haven't put on the model properly. Let me show you. Oh, yeah. Let's put this back up here. OK, come round. VW camper van, live build. That would take forever. Happy New Year, got to go. Comic King, goodbye. Um, where do you put the extra parts of a Lego set? I don't know, really. I, I store them in the bag that they came in, or the box that they came in, and hope that I don't lose them. Martin Simmons, have ye? That's not a proper question. Will this stream be uploaded? Yes, it will. Don't worry. Here is the little X-Wing. It's not an X-Wing. It is a... Oh, God, I can't remember its name again. Where, what's it called? Ark. ARC-170 Starfighter. It's quite a little, good little model. These things are articulated. Not sure if they're meant to be. Um, it's a bit ugly, really. I, I prefer X-Wings, to be frank. But that was quite a cool, fun thing to put together, wasn't it? 
Um, don't know what I'm going to do with it now. Maybe I should give it away to someone. If we can get this video up to 100 likes, yeah, that's a good thing. If we can get this video up to 100 likes, I will randomly select one of you. And you've got a comment on the video as well when it's um, when it goes live. I will randomly select one of you to receive this. I'll get in contact with you and uh, I'll post this out to you. And you can say to your friends that a very minor YouTuber um, who reviews Lego sets badly has sent you a prize and they will be really unimpressed and you'll probably lose that friend um, for the rest of your life. 30th like, fantastic. So will there be a house party when the parents move out? Yes. And I think I'm thinking of advertising it to my um, tw nearly 25,000 subscribers so that we can all come round, destroy the house. And uh, yeah, I'm not going to do that. Do we get the instructions? Yeah, I'm not that cruel. I would send the instructions. Don't worry. Um, remember to send the bag instructions. I will. Look, I'm just to prove to you that if you enter this competition, you will actually win something useful. Here is the bag. I'll put it in the bag now. There we go. How are you today? And I like the stream. I'm very well, thank you. I'll stay online for a little bit longer just to answer some questions and autograph the bag. I need a Sharpie to do that, um, which I probably have got. So I will, I will autograph it. You will get an autographed bag. I'm not sure why you want that. The only reason I can think is to sort of defraud me out of money because it's not, I'm not famous, not even slightly famous. eBay, you're going to just sell it. You're just going to sell it on eBay. That's actually, I'd, I'd probably do the same. Are those Star Trek models on the shelf? Du, du, du. Why are you so pale? <laughs> I don't know. Well, actually, one of the reasons I'm so pale is there's a very bright light there. Where are we? There, that is a very blue light and it's shining on my face and making me look very pale. But actually, I am extremely pale anyway. Yes, that is a shelf full of Lego ships. Um, if you go and look at my Lego room tour after this, you can see those in a little bit more detail. Hello from Austria. Enjoying your content very often. Thank you, Stefan. I am that type of guy who would rob a Lego store and not a bag. Excellent. I would call you famous. I, I'm not famous. Have you heard of we, of we Love Bricks? It is a Lego. No. Can I get a mod? Maybe I may mod. You need to get in contact with me. I've gone blind. Sorry about that. Uh, what's your favourite Lego set? Already answered that. In my country, your subscriber count would be bigger than average. Ooh, that's that's good to know. Anyone watch Jang Bricks? Yes, Jang Bricks did actually comment on one of my videos. Um, I kind of provoked him a little bit. It was a video about um, problems with buying Lego sets from um, Bricklink and eBay, and um, I kind of misquoted him, and he contacted me. He was very polite and nice about it. What a nice chap, basically. Um, and then in one of my last videos... I got a lot of contact from um, M and R, uh, M and R Productions and Brickitect. They've been speaking to me a bit, which is quite cool. I actually feel like part of a really cool club now. I'm really quite happy. I keep it till you're famous and then sell it. Um, I could do. I'm trying to play star wars the old republic but the stream is distracting me i'm sorry i won't be here much longer how do you make your videos so good they're awesome i sometimes ask myself the same question um how do i get in contact with you instagram you can contact me on instagram that's fine um do you want my instagram um account thingy let me just find it for you instagram so my Instagram is Jake. Oh, is that it? Jake Newman. Or it might be. No, it's it's yeah, it's Jake. Oh, that's my personal one. I'd mm, mm, <laughs> mm, Yeah, you can do that. Jake Newman. Go on. It'll, it's me with a fake beard. Jake, make a Twitter account. I've got a Twitter account. Look for Dr. Jake's reviews on um on twitter and you'll find me um 
yes, you're right. Jang Bricks is the most polite YouTuber ever. Jake Newman, that's right. I do tweet, and I've got a Facebook page as well. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can follow me on all those things. I don't post that much on them, but, you know, now and again. And if I get people actually following me, then I'll have more of an incentive to actually post things on there. Why do you have hate? I don't really like haters as well. I hope you don't get any more. I get haters because I um, talk about contentious subjects, subjects that are kind of close to people's hearts. Do you have a PhD? I I do in computer science, com um, lip reading, actually, computer lip reading. I built a computer system that could read what you were saying just from the movement of your lips. As long as you were in a studio with fixed lighting conditions, reading the United Nations Declaration of Human Rights. And then it wasn't that accurate. Never mind. I wonder if my brother Dave is watching this. Dave, I maybe he is. We will never know. Because you're awesome. No, thank you very much. So I'm going to go soon. But remember, if we can get this up to 100 likes, if you leave a comment down below in the video when it goes live, um, I will give away this. I will sign it um, with the instructions, yes, and with the model. I might even take the model apart if you're really lucky, maybe. Depends if you want me to. Um, and then I will uh, I'll send this to one of you. Randomly select one of you and send it. So give this video a like. Um, how long have you been on YouTube? Years, but I only have done proper YouTube videos for really the last sort of three years. Um, how does your program tell the difference between P and B? So these are called plosives. This is the technical term of that particular lip movement, per and b. Um, and actually, it's quite an inter quite interesting because it's a. Uh, they have no difference, I believe, in the Arabic language. So if you say to somebody ball or Paul, um, if they speak Arabic, they may not actually be able to tell the difference. It's something that they have to really learn. Um, and you're right. That is what we call a phonetic or visemic confusion. Um, sorry, this is extremely technical and boring, isn't it? But uh, that it, you can't tell the difference, essentially. Um, same as f, v, and k, and d. You know, they've got the same places of articulation, um, and visually they look exactly the same. I'm a speech pathologist, was just interested. Oh, that's really, very cool, actually, Beck. Um, maybe you probably know more about it than me. Can you do a stream which is in parts building a Lego set? Maybe I will, because this seems to have gone quite well. Do you know much about WebRTC? No, I don't. What programming languages are you good at? I am good at, I'm only good at MATLAB, let's face it. I probably could pick up other things, but I've been using MATLAB properly for sort of 15, no, probably 12 years. Um, and I, I feel like it's another limb, basically. If I want to do something, I know how to do it in MATLAB. One of my bosses, because I've got two bosses, one of them's trying to get me to use Python. He's right and his reasons are good, but I'm just a little bit resistant because I know MATLAB so well. What's your favourite chocolate? We've already established my favourite chocolate is these Lindor balls. Please, please go and buy these balls. Not sponsored. They're just delicious. Why did you decide to do YouTube videos? Oh, that's mm. well, actually, uh, first few videos I uploaded were just kind of for the fun of it, because I'd filmed something, and I put them online. Then I realized that people were actually watching them. Then I found out that I'd made a little bit of revenue from them, like 20 quid or something over a year. And I thought, actually, you can make a little bit of money making these videos and people watch them. So I've kind of I've kind of uh, just got into the habit of it. And uh I'm not sure I'm going to stop. I'm a little bit addicted. YouTube is my hobby, and I really like talking to everyone and getting comments back from people. So, yeah. Have you got any micro sets? No, I haven't. Brexit is awful. I think that's probably the sentiment of a lot of people in the UK, um, depending on which side of the argument you fall on. Brexit is probably objectively awful, isn't it? Let's Let's face it. Do a build on a Brick Mania set. OK, I need to go somewhere. So bye. OK, goodbye. I'm addicted to making money, too. 
money, money, money. Well, I, yeah, I, that's not the main reason I do YouTube, but it's a it's a nice bonus. Um, although recently I've spent more on things to show you guys than I actually make from YouTube. Never mind. Does it annoy you too that lots of people refer to Darth Vader when he's in the suit only, not when he first first turned to the dark side in Palpatine's office? I can't say that it personally winds me up, but it is a good point and I will notice it in future. What's the story behind the water review? Right, Jessica, I wasn't actually drunk in that video. Um, I just have moments like that. I do wonder if I'm a little bit bipolar, actually, because I sometimes just go very crazy. Um, and that was one of those instances. Wasn't drunk, just found it incredibly funny reviewing a glass of water. What do you think of these really smart words? I don't know which words you're talking about, but I do like smart words. Could you review more water, please? <laughs> I'm always so undecided. Yeah, that's maybe that's a good idea. I'm actually going to America next year briefly. Nothing to do with YouTube, to do with work. And uh, maybe I'll review the water in America. Can we send you Lego? Yes, Anthony, you can send me Lego. Um, if you send me, if you email me, drjacobnewman at me.com, uh, I will tell you how you can send me Lego. Do you make design any models of your own or just build actual sets? I'm afraid I'm one of those boring people who actually just, you know, follow the instructions. Sorry. Smart words equals British accent. You know, it does rather feel as if if you're British, you sound more cleverer than what you is. Not all water tastes the same. Reviewing water could be a good series. That is very true, actually. It does taste different. It tastes different in different parts of the same city. What is your biggest Lego set? I built a great big crane thing. That was pretty big. I feel like I'm being ignored. You're not being ignored, Ultimate Will. I'm watching you. I'm here. I'm reading your comments. And then Donna Wagner is like, Greenville has some of the best water in the US. OK. Anyway, guys, I'm going now. Thank you for watching. Um, remember to give this video a thumbs up. Um, I really appreciated your time and I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. See you next time for another proper video. Bye. How do you end this? Oh, are you sure you want to end it? Yeah. Goodbye. Goodbye.